All right, let's do this. Hey guys, so I'm gonna start off with complete honesty and that's that I'm not quite sure what this is gonna end up being. I know that I want to document my journey to become a freelance videographer. I'm not sure if it's gonna help anybody, if anyone's gonna enjoy watching it. So if you're out there and this helps you in some way by the end of the video, drop me a comment, I'd love to hear from you. For my first entry in documenting this journey, I'm gonna answer four basic questions. One, why am I doing this? Two, how did I get here? Three, what am I trying to create? And four, what have I learned in the first month? So let's jump right into it because I don't wanna waste anybody's time. All right, so why am I doing this? The very obvious and not so inspiring answer is because I gotta make money. If I'm being honest, that's the main reason I'm doing it. But that doesn't exactly answer why I chose video to make money, right? And the answer to that is I love doing it and it's something I'm good at. So rather than find a job that would probably be easier, more stable, would give me uh, you know, a paycheck week to week, I decided I wanna do something I enjoy and it really feels like the right time to do it. Kind of a now or never moment in my life. Let me know if you can relate. So you might be wondering, how did I make money before? And that leads us to question number two. How did I get here? This also gives more context as to why I'm doing this. And that's because for the last three years, I've really been able to work on the craft of creating videos. I was able to do that by working for a local real estate agent, being his full-time videographer and partner in marketing. And I really did enjoy working with him. But about a month ago, he sat me down and told me that he would not be able to support me as a full-time position any longer, but still wanted to use me on a contracted basis. Now I'm the type of person that really likes comfort and safety. So as I was first hearing this, I was for sure getting nervous about the future. But that being said, I kind of knew this day would have to come. It just didn't make sense for him to have a full-time videographer on staff. And if I was gonna reach my highest potential creatively and financially, it wasn't going to be just working for him. So as scary as that moment was, I had an underlying feeling of excitement because I knew now I could pursue anything I wanted to in video and had the opportunity to make a lot more money. But with all that being said, I knew this was gonna take a lot of work and was probably not gonna be very profitable at the beginning. So I quickly dove into the planning stage, which brings us to question number three. What am I trying to create? Now this is where the hard stuff starts because I don't really know yet what I'm trying to create. I know that probably doesn't sound like a great plan, but one of the things I've learned over the last three years is that you can get stuck planning forever. And if you don't ever put anything into action, like hit that record button, shout out to Think Media, then no amount of planning is going to bring you success. So that's why I started this channel and why my first video might be terrible. Because although I have planned stuff for sure, I didn't wanna wait any longer to take action. And that's why I'm here sitting in my half-finished studio slash office, still in my paint clothes, starting this first video, because I wanna take action. But like I said, I have done a lot of planning to start my business. So let's get to the last question so I can tell you about it. What have I learned this first month? The answer is simple, a lot. But let me give you three quick things that I hope will be helpful to someone in a similar situation. The first and most important thing I've learned is network, network, network. When I first lost my job, the first thing I did was make a list of people that I knew that could give me advice on starting a video business or could point me to potential clients. I know it's cliche, especially in the film industry, but it really is all about who you know. The second thing I've learned these past few weeks is pricing your work really sucks. I knew this would be really hard to figure out to start, but man, it is really difficult. Some of the best advice I've received so far is think of it job to job and client to client because it's really difficult to price what you're doing. Art is subjective and video is no different. A video you create might be worth $2,000 to one person and $20,000 to another. I know that sounds extreme, but it's really not that far off. So I would say I'm still figuring this out and probably will be for a long time. But one of the things that I did was figure out what is my time worth hourly? Then I can estimate how long it will take me and price well above that because you don't wanna sell yourself short and hate doing that job. The other part is to know your client and do your best to try to figure out their budget. That's when you can give them a service that matches the amount of money they're willing to spend. Because there are plenty of companies out there who are willing to pay a lot of money for what you do because obviously they don't wanna do it or they don't know how to do it themselves. All right, so let me end with a third thing that I've learned. It's gonna be pretty similar to something I talked about earlier. Don't hesitate. That applies to hitting record even when you think you're not ready, as well as reaching out to that big company that you think you're not qualified to do work for. The fear of failure has for sure stopped me from putting so many things into action, but I really think it's so important when you're starting this journey to make money for yourself. 
So let me leave you with this last quote, which I'm pretty sure only about 2% of you are going to even know what I'm talking about. So I'm currently having my two-year-old son watch the Magic School Bus. And as Ms. Frizzle says, take, take chances, chances, make mistakes, mistakes, and get messy. It's a cheesy line, but it rings true. I know I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes starting out, but taking those chances and getting a little messy, I think will be the key to my success. So if you found any of this helpful, or you just enjoy watching me awkwardly get through this process, please hit the like and subscribe button so that you can follow me as I go on this journey. I'll see you guys next time.